yeah you just start the lab analyze the customer scenario troubleshoot the issue so there is a troubleshooting i'll explain you how you can do this particular one this is lab 266 so just start this lab so there is an email received by a customer saying that when i create an apache server in the command line i cannot ping it so he says that he cannot ping it i also get an error when i enter the ip address in the browser can you please help me which is blocking my connection so there is a contract there is a it's a, like a simple use case when you join organization also you'll get like this only so what can be the possibility yeah tell me you know http browser website uh, i cannot ping it he says that he cannot ping the ip address i also get an error when i enter the ip address in the browser he doesn't see the website can you help what can be the error yeah don't see the answer just tell sir me. first we have to check that port it is uh, rules we have to check sorry one rule outbound rules we have to check for outbound port or inbound inbound sir sir inbound rules for port inbound 80 rules. okay see i told you if you are very clear i told you the initial day itself about when i'm telling about the linux services services the four steps do you remember four steps anyone do you remember I think I have mentioned this in the notes also. The four steps, especially the service management. Download package. Sorry? If you know that you are half done for most of the troubleshootings, you can basically go through that way. Yeah? I think I didn't write. Or I don't know. Yeah, here. Do you remember this particular one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, if you want to troubleshoot whether your web server is, I mean, web, Apache web server is functioning or not, what do you need to do? The first step, hmm. is package down, uh, downloaded properly or package not? package has been downloaded and installed properly or not? Yes or no? If there is no installation done, hmm. then how will you expect a website? Right? Yes, sir. Second. Yes, sir. Third one, whether it has been configured or not. Configuration means? Check your, I mean, services, whether it has been enabled or not, started or not, service, right? Service needs to be started. And then whether the firewall is, I mean, security uh, groups are opened or not. And then you can start verifying. It should work. Shall we do? Okay. okay. So the solution also will be like that. Try to connect first with the, uh, what we call as the server. So this is my download. This is my URL. So the previous session, I'm going to close.
yeah it is connecting to my system first of all and try whether website is functioning or not with the same url i mean it's not coming it's not coming right in the browser <laughs> It's not coming, but SSH is function. So what do you need to do? The first step. Download. Whether you have installed downloading, let us check whether we have installed or not. So you can say yum. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you can say yum. Uh, otherwise, you can see the service also. System CTL. System CTL, we learned about, right? System status. Do you remember or not? I still remember. HTTPD dot service. Yeah. So what did it say? Just a second. Thank okay. you. You see, is this service enabled or not? Running? No, sir. No, sir. Inactive. What? It's dead, right? Inactive. So what we should do? We should? Start the service. We should start the service. Yes or no? Yes, sir. HTTPD dot service. Start the service. So fail to start. It's not allowing also. Okay. So let us check. Sudo yum install httpd asterisk hyphen y. See that. Yeah, it is not at all installed also in this. There are many packages which are not ready. See here, sudo yum install httpd hyphen y. We have all the packages related to are installed now. Now start the service. Start the service. Uh, Fail to start httpd service. The name uh, was not provided by dot service files. See the logs and system status HTTPD for more details. So let us see the status. It is dead. It is dead. Okay, let us go through this particular one. So we did all these things. Install HTTPD. Yeah. So it is saying as dead. Start HTTPD. Okay. So it should function now. Yeah, start the service. Now it has started. We didn't give sudo, that's why it didn't start. Right? Now you ask for the status. It is running, yes or no? Yes, Fine. So try to refresh now. Still my website is not coming. Still my website is not coming. So what can be the problem? It may such TPPS. Hmm? Yeah. It is HTTP only. It is not functioning the URL. So please understand that there is a firewall. Firewall may be stopping this inbound rule. Service is running. Service is earlier. The installation was not complete. We did this install. We started the service. It started functional. Everything, web server is functional. 
but still it is blocking. The blocking can be, we need to check the firewall. So in order to check the firewall, you need to basically go to your AWS console. Okay. You need to go to the AWS console and go through the security groups. All of you following? This is troubleshooting. Go to your EC2 instance. So the instances. this command host and go to security and verify whether this security is okay or not. So this is my security group. Yeah. Do you see any 80 port open? In this inbound no, rules? Sir. Do you see? No, sir. No. no sir. What should we do? We should Edit the inbound Edit the rule. Add the rule. Say SSH. Not SSH. HTTP. HTTP. And say anywhere. Okay. And say save rules. Fine. We have opened this firewall. Now let me try. Refresh. Yeah. Can you see the test page now? Yes, sir. Fantastic. This is how we troubleshoot. This is how we troubleshoot. We got into, yeah, you see this test space is now fully functional. Fully functional. Like this space should come. So investigate the customer's VPC configuration. Yeah, in this management console. Uh, this is only generic. This is only generic. Right? This is only generic, which we did. So you can see this test space is running. Test space is running. So you can explore the VPC configuration as needed, but that is nothing to do anything. That is nothing to do anything. Like yesterday we have gone through, you can go through. All of you understood. If you want me to explain once again, I can explain. So sir, repeat it once again, sir. So first, uh... Yeah, listen. So first thing is that we have logged in into the server. This I think everyone can do. So then we verified whether the service is started or not using system CTL status HTTPD dot service. The first command which we did is only that you see here status. We see that you see that it is dead. The first command, right? It's dead. It is not functioning. So then I think we also verified uh, sudo with yum install, some install, yum install with all the packages, whether it has been installed or not. There are some missing packages which are there. HTTPD is installed. HTTPD file system is already installed. Tools, some of the files are not there. It has been installed. It has been installed. All right. This this command. Understood, everyone? This is not there here, but this is how we troubleshoot. So once after this is done, once this is done, see this part is done up to this point. So you can say uh, the status is still dead, still dead. You can say this particular one, where is that? Pseudo systems TTL, start this HTTP. I'm highlighting. So it will come back to the command prompt. Fantastic. It is, if it has come to the command prompt, absolutely fine. So then you can ask for status. The next command, system CTL, pseudo system CTL or system CTL. For status means pseudo is not required. For starting the service means sudo is required. So you see that now it is running. It is running. So fantastic. Your website is now operational. But still if we try here, it's not coming. So the only reason is that you have to check the firewall. You have to check the firewall. So what did we do? We have gone to the instances dashboard. So verified these instances. Okay. Verified these instances. So I mean check the instances go to security and click the security groups which is here try to see that you have only ssh earlier so what we do edit inbound rules 
and add HTTP with all and just to save rules, you should be able to see the test case. Understood? Yes, sir. So the last step is not yes. given in the tutorial, sir, in the lab one. That to edit the inbound rule, sir. It's not there without without editing, we don't get that, right? Yes, sir. We don't get, we don't get. Yeah, I'm observing now. Once after starting the service, he means to say, you will get it, public IP of the instance. Yes, sir. Ha, 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 ha. There is a, see, the following image shows the expected output. However, the page will not load at this point of this lab. Is this clear? However, it will yes, not sir. load. So now investigate. So you will investigate the customer's VPC and their resources and all these things. So probably from there, you need to go to the security groups and investigate. Right? That's what he means to say. So I have given directly answer, but, but you need to go to the security group. And finally, this is the answer. He didn't give the answer how to do. He said that, okay, go to the VPC dashboard and verify one by one. So we have done this particular one security groups directly. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then this test page has come. I agree. I agree. I didn't read all these things. Normally, we go to the instance and verify. Okay. So, hence, we have completed troubleshooting. Hence, we have completed troubleshooting. Yeah, anyone, any question? Please ask. Everyone done? Troubleshoot a network issue. All a scenario based is given. Very, very helpful. This is how customers also complain. And you need to troubleshoot and fix up the issues. So if we are done so, close the ticket. And the lab. So this completes this lab number 266.